Bring us up to speed with what you've just heard uh, when you stepped off camera. Yeah, I actually, Richard, was just talking to a store manager. I won't name the store. I won't name uh, who that was, but uh, she actually just got out of the mall talking to some of her employees who were inside the mall when all of this uh, happened. Uh, she said that a lot of her employees heard several gunshots ring out, uh, and then there was just uh, just mass confusion as to what was going on. Uh, something I thought was interesting is that she said that she actually has uh, a plan in place for a lot of her employees when something like this happens, and they did exactly what they were supposed to. They closed the front gate of that store, then ushered people to the back of the store uh, when those shots rang out. Uh, another thing to point out here is that she actually said that her business is losing employees over these kind of incidents happening over and over again here at the Augusta Mall, which I thought was uh, very interesting. We haven't heard that before from some of these uh, store employees, store managers who are, who are uh, leasing out their uh, spaces here at the Augusta Mall. Uh, but just overall sense here, uh, there's just been a few deputies riding around uh, at the mall here. It seems like uh, the, the mall's back open from what we heard from one of the deputies who rode by as well. So things seem to be returning back to normal. Whether people will come back to the mall, uh, I believe it closes at 6 today is a different story. Uh, but uh, just behind me, things seem clear. Things seem back to normal. It's definitely cleared out a bit here at the mall. But um, yeah, talking to that store manager here, uh, that one of those employees was uh, an interesting perspective and in context to what's been going on at the Augusta Mall. Yeah, well, there's, a, there's several things that she mentioned that I find interesting as well. That there were, in fact, several shots fired and that uh, they were quickly able to close the gate on that store. They have a plan in place after these other multiple mall shootings that we've mentioned over the last few years. And uh, the real heartbreaking part of all this is they are losing employees over this. I'm sure the mall as a whole is not happy with this kind of public relations. Uh, you know, as malls across America struggle to survive, this is not the kind of thing you want to see happen to your mall. Nobody wants to see another Regency Mall situation in Augusta, Georgia. But uh, Will, um, have, you, have you noticed any more or any less law enforcement showing up there around that part of the mall behind you? Mostly law enforcement dispersing at this point after the situation seemed to be contained. Uh, again, we talked to a few deputies who rode by, said the mall was back open from what they were told. Uh, so it seems like people have started to leave the mall for the afternoon, Richard. Well, it is, it's a relief to hear one person and only one person has injuries that are not life threatening. You know, if there's a good uh, situation to come out of this, it's the fact that there weren't more injuries and even more deaths this afternoon with shots fired in the Augusta Absolutely. Mall right around 3.38 this afternoon. Um, again, Will Rio uh, joining us live there, and uh, we're going to continue to follow this, and we have uh, more people coming out of the mall, more people speaking to Will, and we learn more with every single one of those conversations about where exactly this might have happened. There's still some questions, but for now, uh, Richmond County telling us that uh, shots fired, one down, one male subject shot at least once, taken to a local hospital with non life-threatening injuries and as you can imagine investigators are on the scene trying to gather evidence inside the Augusta Mall. Will, that's where we're going to leave it. I'm going to get you to step out of frame one more time and ask your photographer to push in just as tight as they can on that back entrance and we will leave folks with that live look at Augusta Mall this afternoon. Uh, just a real sad situation there as we are less than a half, about a half hour now away from the mall's regular closing hour but um, certainly the, the mall was interrupted today by gunfire a situation no one ever wants to see. And at this point, I'm not even sure I see another deputy's car there, which is.